in this video. We studied nucleus and cytoplasm. Come, let's learn about cell organelles. Friends, do you know what cell organelles are? Yes, we will learn about the parts found inside the cell and their functions. All eukaryotic cells use small membranous structures called cell organelles to perform their metabolic or chemical reactions and help in work done in the body of multicellular complex structures such as plants and animals. These are cell organelles, nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, plastids and vacuoles. We have already learned about the nucleus. Now we will learn about the endoplasmic reticulum. It is a very large system of membrane bound ducts and sheets. Its composition is similar to that of cell membrane. Friends, if you look at it carefully under the microscope, do you see any difference in their structure? Yes, somewhere there are black dots while rest it is absent. The endoplasmic reticulum that has black dots is called a rough endoplasmic reticulum and which do not have dots are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Do you know what these black dots are? These black dots are called ribosomes. These are spherical in shape and extremely dense. It is made up of ribonucleic acid and protein. Their main function is protein synthesis. Friends, do you know where they are made in the cell? They are formed in the nucleoplasm of the nucleus. After getting formed, it comes out of the nuclear pores and stick to the endoplasmic reticulum, which is then called rough endoplasmic reticulum. Friends, do you know? On the rough endoplasmic reticulum, protein synthesis occurs with the help of these ribosomes and smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the formation of fat and lipid molecules. That is, the endoplasmic reticulum provides a large surface for synthesis of protein and lipid inside the cell and after that, it also gives them a way to go to other parts of the cell as needed. Some proteins and lipids help to form cell membranes. This process is called membrane biogenesis and some proteins and lipids acts as enzymes and hormones. So friends, it's the endoplasmic reticulum that gives way to synthesize basic biological molecules of the cell and move them to different parts of the cell. Now we will understand about next cell organelle, Golgi apparatus. It is also called Golgi body or Golgi complex. It was discovered in the cell in 1898 by Camillo Golgi. It consists of a system of membrane bound vesicles arranged approximately parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. Golgi apparatus also have circular vesicles and tubules. The Golgi apparatus synthesizes substances like proteins and lipids from endoplasmic reticulum via vesicles and then stores, modifies and packs and sends to different location outside or inside the cell. For this reason, it is also called the post office of the cell. Lysosomes are also produced by the Golgi apparatus. Now, we will study about lysosomes. 
Lysosomes are membrane bound sacs that have very powerful digestive enzymes which break down all organic matter. But friends, where do these powerful digestive enzymes come from? Well, these digestive enzymes are formed on smooth endoplasmic reticulum and packed in lysosomes from the vesicles of the Golgi apparatus. Guys, what is the function of lysosomes? Well, inside the cell, the broken parts of cell organelles and the residual material coming from outside such as bacteria, food, etc. go into the lysosome and its digestive enzymes break it into small pieces and cleanse the cell. And when the cell is damaged or dead due to any reason, the lysosomes burst and the enzymes digest their own cells. Hence, the lysosomes is called the suicidal sac of the cell. So, in this way, the lysosome works to keep the cell clean. Friends, we will now learn about mitochondria. Mitochondria is a double layered membrane. One is the outer membrane and the other is the inner membrane. The outer membrane is porous and the inner membrane is deeply folded. Do you know guys, where does the cells get energy to perform its essential function? Yes, from mitochondria. The mitochondria have their own DNA and ribosomes that can make proteins and energy in the inner membranes. Mitochondria provides energy in the form of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate to the cell to perform the necessary chemical reactions. For this reason, it is also called the powerhouse of the cell. So guys, you saw mitochondria make energy for the cell. Now we will know about plastid, the next cell organelle. Do you know guys, plastid is present only in the plant cells? There are three types of plastid, chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Chloroplast is green in color, chromoplast is colored and leucoplast is colorless. Let's know about them. First is chloroplast. Friends, do you know why plants are green in color? Because of this chloroplast. It contains green pigment called chlorophyll which gives green color to plants. Not only this, it also helps in photosynthesis. It is a double membrane cell organelle. Its inner structure consists of layers of membranes with a thylakoid located in a fluid called stroma. Now we will know about chromoplast. Friends, have you ever thought why leaves, fruits and flowers of a plant are of different colors? Well, because of this chromoplast, they are colored plastids and it provides different colors in leaves, flowers and fruits. Now we will know about leucoplast. Friends, it is a colorless plastid in which substances like starch, oil and protein are stored. Friends, do you know plastid also have their own DNA and ribosomes which help in synthesis of protein and light? So friends, now we will know about next cell organelle, vacuoles. Friends, do you know where all necessary substances are stored in the cell? Yes, in the vacuoles of the cell. Vacuole is a collector of liquids and solid substances such as amino acids, sugars, many types of organic acids, 
proteins etc which are very essential substances for plants do you know guys their size is small in the animal cell whereas in the plant cell vacuoles are very large friends you will be surprised to know that in some plant cells their measurement is from 50% to 90% of the volume of the cell because of which the nucleus is near the plasma membrane in plant cells vacuoles are full of cell sap and provides turgidity and rigidity to the cell in single cell organisms like amoeba the food vacuole contains the food items that the amoeba has consumed in some unicellular organisms specialized vacuoles also play important roles in expelling excess water and some waste from the cell so in this